Hey y'all, I'm back. This is Ryan Blosser and I've got a couple of minutes of quick gardening tips for you all. Stay tuned for my next video which will be about planting a tomato plant and growing it in a five gallon bucket. Before I talk about handle, how to handle your uh, ratty old tomato starts, I want to show you, want to catch up on um, the other uh, little project I did that was how to make a garden bed out of a plastic tub. And remember a couple weeks ago I planted out lettuce. Look how beautiful they're looking now and just about ready to, to harvest. Uh, so yeah, it was quick, quick, simple, and easy. Once I harvest these, I can then reuse this soil uh, and plant back into it. Um, I might do some chard. I may do some flowers, uh, some zinnias I was thinking about. But now I want to talk more about these starts. We just talked re recently about hardening them off. Uh, right now it is the last, uh, the first week of May, going on the second week of May where I live. And in about four days, we're going to have temperatures as low as the 20s. We're zone 6B, which means our, uh, our first, fro our last frost date happens May 15th. But the last 10 years, we've had several frost dates as late as Memorial Day weekend. So hold tight, don't be in a rush. I've seen so many people lose their gardens right before the season even started because they were in a rush to get their, their plants out of the ground. But I wanna talk now <clears throat> about when you are ready to plant tomatoes and probably a lot of you have tomatoes that look like this. Tomatoes, old ratty tomatoes that have been too long in their cell packs are one of the easiest plants to handle because they throw roots down from their stems so aggressively. They're an aggressive grower. So a couple of quick tips on how to handle when you have plants like this. First and foremost, it is recommended to go ahead and open up the root ball a little bit. Don't rip them out. You don't want to, you don't want to damage the root system. Uh, but more importantly than that, what I like to do is one of two things. I'll get down. I want to get as deep as I can. If this were my garden soil, And with tomatoes, you want to cover, you want to get the stem buried deep in so it'll start to re-root from the stem and not grow from the roots that are already established. So something like that deep. Now, a lot of folks have soil that is not so easy to dig down to that deep, and that's okay. Tomatoes will do really well in clay soil. One of the ways to handle a ratty old uh, root bound tomatoes in soil that you can't dig very deep in is to plant them sideways. And so you, you dig a little bit of a trench and you put the root ball in and then you don't want to snap the stem, but from there you just bury all the way up so that stem's covered. And then you could put in your, your tomato steak just like this, tie it up and it's going to start rerooting from the stem that's buried and you'll have a a brand new uh, vigorous tomato vine coming out of the ground so happy gardening and check back uh, next week for a video on growing tomatoes in five gallon buckets just like we did lettuce in our our lowe's plastic tub happy gardening y'all